Ni pak cik nak cakap sikit ni. Orang putih hantar roket pi bulan boleh sampai balik. Orang kita hantar kapal terbang pi China tak sampai-sampai lagi. Hai. Hai dah. What I did there was not a fake persona. I just repeated word by word along with intonations what was said by an 80-year-old school gardener who's retired now. He was saying this when he was reading the newspaper a few years back. Now, today I'm going to talk about why did the Malaysian currency drop in value? What does this have to do whatever he said? Let's find out. To understand why the Malaysian currency value dropped, you must first understand how global currencies are valued. To know that, you must first understand that currency is not a note that represents a particular value, like in the olden times when people used the gold standard, but instead, currency has become a commodity. Just like coffee, sugar or silver, currency as well is sold and bought. By contrast, under today's unbacked or fiat dollar standard, there is no value guarantee. If you take a $20 Federal Reserve note to a bank, all you can get for it is other Federal Reserve notes. Now you might ask, why would someone buy a currency from a different country if their own country has their own currency? For that simple, if they want to travel to your country, they would need to buy your country's currency. Secondly, if they want to invest in your country, let's say for example, an investor from the United States of America wants to come and invest in Malaysia. He would have to come over, dump his US dollars, buy Malaysian ringgits and pay local workers in Malaysian ringgits so that they could build his factory and come over and work in his factory. If you don't have any money, then where did my money come from? You're going to want to take a step back. Whoa! No way! Thirdly, people want to buy the currency of your country because they desperately need a product that your country produces. For example, if you produce oil, silver, or if you produce corn, or any other food item that does not exist in other countries, then people would want to buy that particular product desperately. When countries produce really valuable goods like this, they would then demand to the global market saying, if you want to buy my product, please pay in my currency. And that would force these other countries to buy a particular country's currency so that they can purchase that country's product. Now, having understood that, now we know that there are three things that determine the value of your currency. If you have more people wanting to travel to your country, the value of your currency could increase. If you have more people wanting to invest in your country, the value of your currency will increase. And thirdly, if your country produces enough valuable goods that other people desperately want, like oil, then the value of your currency will increase. If that's the case, what happened in the recent years that caused our currency value to plummet? Well, that's simple. People didn't want our currency anymore. Why was that? Because people didn't want to travel to our country. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that we lost 238 people and we kinda don't have a clear answer how we did that. Maybe, I'm just speculating. Secondly, because of political issues and a whole range of things, foreign investors did not want to invest in our country and therefore the value of our currency depreciated. Thirdly, we didn't produce enough goods that could be sold so that people would demand our currency. We produce very few things that people need desperately. So all these things combined make people not want our currency as much anymore. Don't worry, they still want our currency more than most countries out there, but they want it less now. Now remember, this is a very very simplified version of what exactly happened and how the currency dropped, but it should give you a rough idea on what's happening in the world. 
Thank you for watching and before I end the video, I would leave you with more impersonations of what that Pachi said about the economy. Ada juga pada menteri kata bagui kalau mata wang negara jatuh. Dia kata sebab apa? Bagui sebab anak orang lain dari negara luar boleh datang lawat negara kita. Itu ke sasaran menteri. Sasaran menteri sepatutnya untuk jadikan anak negara kita kaya supaya dia boleh keluar lawat negara orang lain. Ni, pacik nak cakap ni. Hang ingat baru-baru ni ke? Yang satu dua tahun ni yang mata wang negara kita jatuh ni saja ke orang putih nak datang lawat negara kita. Dia orang duk lawat negara kita sejak turun temurun sebelum zaman Jepun lagi. Sebab apa dia orang boleh buat macam tu? Sebab mak pak dia kaya sejak zaman tu. Sebab menteri dia tak kata jom tunggu sampai mata wang kita jatuh. Baik tu. Ada surat khabar kata jangan takut pasal mata wang kita jatuh. Saya tak takut. Yang betul saya tak takut. Saya marah ni. Marah pasal apa? La ni pendidikan tinggi. Ha? Teknologi tinggi. Pergi sekolah tengok budak-budak pun tinggi-tinggi. Tapi mata wang rendah-rendah. Kenapa?